Okay, so welcome to Growing Pains, the second the second podcast filming. So who do I have here today? I have Abhan Patel, the reoccurring guest. The reoccurring guest. She's uh, she kind of barged in, so I had to. No, learn. I'm just so good that she has that. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then I have Nazima Patel. So I have oh. one friend in and a friend. What? Friend cousin. No, no oh, oh, oh. Wow, see, Nazima picked it up, man. What's uh, wrong I didn't with take you? It and you thought you were the special guest. <laughs> I didn't take it. So, okay, so who's Nazima? Oh, so I introduced who Aban was. Say who's Nazima? Oh. You think everyone oh. in the world knows who Nazima is? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Nazima. But, um, so I introduced Aban last time. Aban's my cousin slash my friend. And then Nazima's my friend friend. Only friend, no cousin. Friend friend, not just friend friend friend. <laughs> friend friend, she's my very good friend. So, okay, so. Well, I know everything about you, so do you do you think there's anything you want to say to the viewers? Anything they should know? No. I'll, cut, I'll keep all this in Could you more. please cut all that no. off? <laughs> this is so embarrassing! Okay, okay, let's start. <laughs> okay. okay, where were we? We were right there in the beginning. There was no way we were at. It was right at okay. the beginning. Okay, so. So yeah, so my friend Nazima. Okay? <laughs> this is my Anything friend. you want to say to the viewers about who you are, what you do. I'm finally on YouTube. <laughs> that's all. That's, that's, that's all she's following me on YouTube. Okay, so she's an inspiring YouTube personality. So if any any of you guys don't know, Nazima's one of the nine friends that are like part of mine and one's close group of friends. So um, I invited Nazima over because honestly, I felt like Nazima needed an opportunity to get onto YouTube, and she's always so nervous. So I'm like, let me just put her in the on uh, in front of the camera and just test it out because she's never gonna she's never gonna not be nervous unless she gets. Yeah. In front of it. That's she needs that first like. Like she's not gonna be <laughs> stopping the bubbles in her cut unless she just comes out and be like, okay, you know she what? Has it's to time. Do it, first. it takes time, guys. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't. All my all all my friends, they're kind of awkward. If <laughs> you meet them in real life, they're all very awkward. They don't know how to act. So yeah. So then, for this topic of the podcast, uh, I was thinking of naming it mentality. I guess mentality. Oh, that's it. Whoa, so mentality. Because I feel like from my last podcast. Okay, wait. Now I'm getting all over the place again. Okay, let's start off. Okay, so thank you to anyone who watched the last podcast. Really, really appreciate it. I like. I know. I know it's only like a couple hundred views, but like I know that people don't have to watch my podcast. I know people don't have to listen to me. And even if you took like a minute out just to check it out, like thank you so much. Like I really appreciate it. About my future guest, she appreciates it too. Yes, I appreciate it a lot. I was actually surprised by the amount of views. Like I didn't I expect, been, like, I, like, actually I didn't expect it to reach that many people. Okay, not like ten. I expected like yeah, like the people that we live around are like our friends, but I didn't expect it to reach like almost a thousand. Like what is that? Eight hundred now? Seven hundred? Seven hundred. The first one, yeah. Okay, but so I guess that's what like three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> one thousand. I guess that's what happens when you post it, post it, post it on LinkedIn, thinking yeah. like I'm hot oh, shit. Oh yeah, you post it Probably on why. LinkedIn. Probably why. Well, who knows? Oh, you know what? People just love uh, Borky Girl. I don't know. I'll put it. I'll leave it up in the comments to decide. <clears throat> okay. Oh, so no. Are you, are you the PA assistant? The yeah. I'm just gonna go in and out. Water. Okay. Let's so no. Just trying to leave. <laughs> she drew the she she any excuse she wants to call. So so okay. So last time I didn't get a chance to introduce this, but I'm gonna have meters in my podcast, and a meter is basically I don't know a thermometer. <laughs> okay. So a, a meter is just gonna. There's three types of meter that I'm gonna have. And they're very right now. Okay. Yeah. And a bond cut them out. We, they're not even perfect. Okay, like, Abad cut them out, and yes, they're very ghetto. ghetto. Yes, they're very ghetto. Can you ghetto. tell which one I made out of all three of those? Clearly, yeah. You know why? How I know you made this one? I made this one. No, and this one. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't oh my God. Okay. okay. She finally speaks. She's winning. Because hers is ugly. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, I'm oh, 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 getting all over the place. Okay, so, oh, the thermometers, I made these thermometers. <laughs> Stop, it's the, the backside. They don't know this. So, 
I made these th thermometers kind of to as any okay so anytime a guest or I say something dumb stupid toxic dumb and stupid is the same thing. <laughs> the synonym. okay yeah, yeah, let's fill yeah, that in okay, right now sorry. Let's fill that in right now okay here there's, you get the 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 there's three meters. A mom you should just throw mine away, man. <laughs> you don't have an individual one. There isn't an individual. Sorry, wait. Did there's a special do things. What? I thought one. one's for you, no. one's for a bunch. Oh. One is for this like is for overall. Oh. Okay, meter. wait. Okay, so I'm going to explain this. Sorry, we got all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so these thermometers, basically, if you say something dumb, toxic, or you're going to get canceled, we're going to start filling this in, and then when it reaches the top, something special is going to happen. I can't say what, but something special is going to happen. Can I know? So, the, bitch, are you a viewer? Are you the part of the guest? I don't know what to do with you. I didn't even know that. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I d are you a viewer or guesting? You need okay, to. You're sorry, right, sorry, sorry. You're right. Yeah. Go right. Okay. <laughs> so this is my so stupidity meter. I'll just handle. I think you should keep that one. I'll keep, keep that this one. one. I'll give you it. toxic meter. Anytime someone says toxic, see, smart idea. If Atta and Amina were here and they said anything toxic, this, I mean, if they were on this podcast. Quite it yeah. would be filled. I would have five of those filled. Okay, yeah. and then cancelled. If anyone sees it, I think I should hold on to this one too. But who yeah. knows? Me. I don't wanna. I'm. I don't think I'm. Okay, never mind. Okay, prepared. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fill it in a little bit because I said something stupid. I feel like we're in kindergarten class and we're drawing. Like, you know? <laughs> well, you they know what? This is therapeutic color. for us. A podcast is therapeutic. You talk about your feelings. Why are you already coloring it? I'm so. Because I said something stupid. You don't color it. You oh, guys. Oh, sorry. What? Yeah, I was opening it up, so I'm ready. <laughs> She got ready like we're gonna be toxic in this podcast. You what? guys are. I'm so ready. Okay. You, you should colored it in the minute that we said that you were trying to flee. Okay. So yeah, yeah. And second of all, a third of all actually. So I covered thank you for everyone who watched the meters and also the lighting in my room. So I know a lot uh in the past of uh, podcasts there's only been one. So in the past one, it was so bright and even in this one I feel like it's gonna be really bright, but it's literally I can't do anything because my window is like this big, like taller than a barn, and it's situated right there, and I can't, literally, I can't do anything about it. I'm gonna say, I get like Vanta black curtains, I don't know. Just to remind me, I'll bring that white projector screen, maybe it'll help. But wouldn't it just pass through if it's white? I don't no, think so. I don't think so. Because it's thick. I should have or a just get the cardboard. I should have a science meter. It okay, you guys don't agree, okay? It's, it's okay, you guys don't I'm agree. Not, I'm saying it never be filled. <laughs> That's true, it's a science the testing media. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so my first topic of this podcast. So, what I want to talk to you guys about is the I don't give a fuck mentality. Okay. So, the reason why I want to talk to you is mostly because I know uh, um, people watch this and and when they were, like, hearing me talk about, like, your self-worth, things like that. I feel like a lot of people resonate with that, resonate with that concept of, like, ident uh, attaching your self-worth to yourself only. And that's it. And then a kind of another, um, I guess like a, not phrase, but another thing to follow up with that mentality is the I don't give a fuck mentality. And the IDGAF mentality is very hard to adopt. It's very, very, yeah. very difficult to adopt. And people won't really know what it is until they've fully like gone through it. So if you feel lost and you feel like, okay, well, what the fuck is this 21 year old talking about IDGF mentality? It's only because I've discovered it like within the past, I guess I would say two years. And I've tried adopting it fully in my life. So I don't even give a fuck about anything. And here's but low key. Everyone does care. Just so no, 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 no. See, look, this is the viewer. <laughs> IDGF mentality. It's important to explain because people are going to get confused by it. The IDGF mentality is basically stating that you don't give a fuck about other people's opinions on you, what you do, oh. what you're planning to do, as long as you face up to your own consequences. Oh. That's the IDGF mentality. It simply, simply states but you don't give a fuck about what your friends, parents, anybody else has anything, anything to say about your decisions or your thing, thoughts. Simply because you're going to face up to your consequences by yourself. Okay, but you know how you say that? Isn't there, like, at least a tiny, like, maybe even if it's, like, a fraction of, like, a really small percentage of you that still cares what people yeah. think? Yeah. Like, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, yeah. to me, like, that concept is foreign because, like, obviously, like, I, I do care, like, what people think and stuff. Like, not, like, too much, but there is, like, a part of me that does care, you know? And I feel like... For me, it always, like, I always thought that, like, everybody has to have, like, a little, 
Like a little bit that, you know, I know you're like, nah. No, 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 no. no. You know care. why? Okay, so, okay, so this is the thing. I just, I don't know. People confuse the IGF mentality with disrespect. Right? Like, that's why people don't people don't want to adopt it. Because they feel like, if I have this mentality, I kind of you start disrespecting. Yeah. The thing is that you, you can respect a person, but not respect their opinions. IGF just basically means, I don't give a fuck about your opinion. That doesn't mean I'm rude to you. Like... You yeah. know what I mean? It just means that, like, let's say Nazima starts saying something about me, about, like, how, like, what school I go to. Not even what school. Maybe something bigger, like, oh, Nazima's like, oh, Amar, like, you're working, like, such a stupid job, whatever, right? That shit, I'm not, it, it, it once you've ad adopted, adopted this mentality, it just means that what Nazima said went here and bounced off. Like, it you didn't even reach my subconscious. Year up the other. Yeah, that's it. it. It doesn't mean I'm gonna come back ahead, like, you you fucking stupid bitch like what are you yeah. gonna say it's why are you talking about the like what experience do you have it's not like that because if you can adopt this mentality it just means that you don't care like you don't care like it's literally as simple as that you know what i mean it's like one ear in through one ear out the other because you have a blockage that's like if no. i'm gonna face my own consequences why does why it do matter if you 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 have five, seven opinions on it yeah okay so idgf mentality this is really important for I'll see anyone any age and you're gonna be like why this 21 year old Berkey girl is talking about <laughs> IDGM mentality what does she know but seriously I've like there's been books written about like this type of mentality where it's called like a it's called it's kind of like a blockage mentality and the reason why it's so strong and I feel like people need to understand it is because you know when you you know how I said in the last podcast people put too much emphasis on like other things that are attached to their image People mm -hmm. also put too much emphasis on other people's opinions on themselves, right? Yeah, for sure. And then if you have this mentality, the IDGF mentality, you are solely to blame for however you turn out. Whether it's bad or good or whatever, there's, you, no, one to blame there's no one to blame. And that's literally the reason why you should adopt this mentality is because it's literally the most liberating thing you can have in your life. Cause you can't really. Cause it's like no, yeah. Cause like no longer am I tied down by like listening to like what well, my parents' suggestions yeah. or like feeling like oh I took the wrong decision because someone said like this was the thing to do or anything like that. It's all you. So that okay. So this is the thing about it. If you wanna have this mentality, you can't depend on anyone. Like you, if I fail, like if I'm fucking homeless, I have nothing to go on. Like I wanna kill myself, whatever. I can't depend on other people to come save me. I have to be. I have to be my own rescuer. Yeah. And that's the thing. You take your own failures the whole purpose yourself. of like the. And that is true because you in the last podcast you guys mentioned how, I okay. skipped. What? Because okay. <laughs> you're like in the last podcast. Okay, you, you guys already know how I bounced from one school to another and like changed my, a lot of my programs around. And like, you know, with that. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> Why is she just. So <laughs> is there a ghost? I looked at the camera and I got scared. <laughs> okay, okay, go. Okay, go. Okay. Come okay, on, yeah. get the jitters out. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, so yeah. I'm stuttering. <laughs> Yo, you can stutter. I don't care, bro. Like, if you yeah, really feel people watching this already talk to us, like, in person. So it's yeah, I it know. Matter. I know, I know. It's fine. Okay, okay. Like, I changed my programs around or whatever. And, like, in the back of my mind, I always had that, like, fear that, oh, my God, like, you know, my family's going to say this. My friends are going to say that. But at the end of the day, it was like, you know, this is my life. I have to do what's best That's, for me. Yeah. And, you know... Who cares? Yeah, okay, yeah. Who cares if a lot of money went down the drain? But, like, at the end of the day, you rather risk that than do be in something that you don't want to be in. You know what I mean? So, like, I get the ID... Like, ID, yeah. Yeah, that mentality. I don't give a fuck. Who a fuck cares? Basically, who cares what people have to say? You do you. You so, know? So, yeah, so you know what you're saying, right? So... I feel like I feel like people think they have this mentality, like they think that like, oh, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, but they don't. Yeah. Simply because like, let's say someone says something to you about you, like, like so, okay, for example, let's say you're going to China to study and someone has an opinion. <laughs> this is a bad example right now. I'm getting canceled right now. <laughs> but uh, let's say, let's say, let's say you go to China and people are like have opinions, just like, oh, you're supposed to be going to China, right? If you get angry at those people, yeah, that just means, means they want. Care. Yeah, yeah, they care. Like if if they can get a reaction out of you, that person wins. 
Yeah. Like, especially me, like, the type of person I am, I can never let anybody know how they affect me. Like, even if you, like, no it's, matter it's what, that's ego, like, too. I know. I it's know, different I know when it's, it's really ego bad. versus when you don't care, right? I know like, it's really bad, but, like, for me, it's, like, I will not show if somebody did something to hurt me. Like, I'll just pretend, like, yeah, whatever. Like, okay, you did shit. that. I don't care. Like, who cares? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know, I, I'm exactly the same way. I don't even know why. Yeah. But I, the thing is that, so, like, not caring about what other people say to you means that you don't get offended if people try to suggest something to you because you're just not, it doesn't matter to you. Like, your opinion Because you be have your opinion. own plan. You know you what are, you want to do. It doesn't yeah. matter what anybody else has to say about it. And so, and then, like, so I was just, like, thinking about this mentality, right? Because I, like, there is actually a book on it called, like, How Not to Give a Fuck. Like, and I have it right there. It's that orange Damn. book. Oh, another book. You want to, <laughs> should we pull it? it up? The orange book, Nazma. In the middle. The no, 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 no. Top. This? Yeah. The subtle art of not giving a fuck. Sorry. Sorry. Not not how not to give a fuck. The subtle Clearly art. Clearly she did her research. The subtle art of not giving a fuck. Actually, I bought this uh, like a year back. So, it's a counterintuitive approach to living a good life by Mark Manson. So, his whole concept, he talks about this not giving a fuck. Because the not giving a fuck aspect of your life... It's gonna let you leave a life. It's gonna let you live a life. Yeah. Lead a life. Lead a life. Leave a life. It's gonna let you live a life that's truly yours. Yeah. That's truly yours. And I feel like everyone in their everyone wants to live a life that they can say it is mine. Like it's my life. Like and it, like that I did. I did whatever, and I had to face the consequences, whatever, and I came out on top yeah, by like myself. I'm what brought myself here. Like yeah. nobody else had a hand in like my yeah. success or anything else. And I think why entrepreneurs always succeed, always succeed, is because they talk about this mentality. Gary Vee talks about it. A bunch of other op- uh, um, entrepreneurs talk about it. Is because. They have that mentality, that drive that's like, I'm not gonna let my mom, my parents, my friends put keep me down and like keep me at this level where they think that like, oh, like, like I don't know how to explain it, but they're, it's like this mentality where it's like, I owe my success to you people. What When it's really like, I did whatever I could and I helped whoever I could. And that's how I came out on top. So that's the whole point of the I don't give a fuck mentality and why I think it's really important for people to hear, no matter what age you are, because... At the end of the day, you want to live a life that's yours and yours all alone. And, you ha- like, clinging to other people's opinions by thinking that they're smarter, they have more experience, they're no they're this, more wise. they're more wise, blah, blah, blah. It's just kind of, it just kind of, um, separates, not separates, but it just kind of makes you less, I guess, less. I don't know what the word is, but you don't feel like you're, you don't feel like you're in control, but you also don't trust your own opinions afterwards. Yeah. Right? If you give too much value to, like, this, to this like and everybody that. else. Yeah. That's why the, I talk, this, this is why I was gonna, this is why I want to talk about the IDGAF mentality. Just to simply say that you, everyone should adopt it, but the only way you can really adopt it is that you have to take full control and responsibility of your consequences. Meaning... You can't look for others to... Like, if I fucking failed and I started a company and it went to shit, I can't look for my parents, my friends to bail me out. Yeah. It's me. Like, I have to... If I went to complete shit, if I lost my family, whatever, right? Not, like, this family. <laughs> this family. What like, other let's family say, no, 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 no. Like, let's say, like... I don't know. Let's say, like, I decide to desert my family, whatever, and I went to complete shit, like... It's up to me to bring myself back up, and it's up to me to solve the face of consequences. I can't put it on nobody else's back, right? So I feel like that's why people aren't able to adopt this thing truly. I don't think I've really met some. I'm going to be like, what? I'm right here. But I'm going to be like, <laughs> I don't think I've really met somebody with that mentality. I mean, maybe I have. Like, it's not like, obviously, like, it's so obvious. Because I don't think it is. But, like, I don't think it's, like, very common. I don't think it's, I don't, obviously, I don't think it's very common either. And I don't, I don't think it's easy. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it's for easy sure. at all. For sure. Because some people get butt hurt about it you know like you know like humans do tend to like get butt hurt about what everyone says like even if it's like the slightest of opinion they're gonna be like oh why like why do you feel like that yeah but it's like you know like everyone's gonna critique you in one way or another just take it with the grace and like be like yeah i agree with you but also i want to do this you know so do you think you guys could ever adopt this mentality i know because it's half and half for you, it's mainly because I feel like you, you, your dad has such a strong grip hold in your life that you've never really understood this type of concept. Yeah. For you, I feel like you're just more open to other people's opinions. I don't know through what mm-hmm. that you just take it in. and You're like, yeah, this is like kind of I should listen and stuff. No. I, 
Wait, go first. I feel like for me, I have a lot of older cousins that like have like you know been through life and like they sort of have like a navigation. Not really, but like I I I look up to them, you know. So like if they're gonna give me like an opinion, I'm gonna view it. You're gonna take it into consideration. Yeah, I'm gonna take it into Doesn't consideration. Mean you're take yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. Like that. Like you know what I mean? But like if I don't like that that opinion that they gave, I'm just gonna be like, Yeah, okay. But like I don't agree with you and I'm just gonna keep doing me. Yeah. Same mine is like fifty fifty. I don't think I could ever be like, I don't give a fuck. Because like, yeah. like I said before, for me it's so hard to grasp the concept that like nobody like there's people in this world that literally don't give a shit about what anybody's like anybody like nothing mm. anything that anybody says to them doesn't affect them like it's like wild <laughs> so wild concept <laughs> wild. I, I i think it's a i think it's a very worth very worthwhile concept in terms of everyone should kind of like think about it because I mean, definitely because like, if you hard. if you have it you're not gonna know the true benefits of it. Like it's easy to be like, yo, this bitch is crazy. She's talking about not giving a fuck about anything. But like, unless you've been on the other side, it's really hard to be like, okay, like it's really hard to be like, oh, maybe she has like a point or maybe she has a thing. And then also, okay, so, so yeah, so that's the IDGF mentality. I feel like everyone should adopt it. It's it's hard as fuck to adopt it because it obviously, if you're like a person that really cares about other people's opinions or or how they view your life it's like one needle at a time that you're kind of taking out of yourself yeah. right like it's like stuck in you have to remove it one needle at a time so it takes like it takes time. time it takes years and stuff and but i really think that if you can't see the benefit in this mentality you're just you've just always been under the influence of someone else's opinion and that's why you can't see the benefit of it but yeah, people are going to be like, wow, this bitch really thinks Cancel. I have mind control in my brain. Cancel. She really thinks someone's out there mind controlling me. <laughs> no, but honestly, no, but it is true. Some people do live by other people's opinions and they yeah. don't do what they actually want to go out and do. And I feel like with that, it's like you're going to regret it one day and yeah, you're just going to regret it one day. I, I, th I thought I was going to get somewhere with that. <laughs> She did. She got to the end. The period was there. I felt it. Period. <laughs> okay. So, um, no, when Nazima was talking about like moving from program to program and you having like that realization, like, yo, it's no point in staying in this program. So that's IDGAF. Like, that's an IDGAF mentality. Being like, I don't care if I'm losing my money on this. I'm just gonna switch my program. But I so, but you, you say yourself that you're not fully adopted into this mentality. So I just want to know what made you kind of like realize that like you know what it, it was time to switch and it was time to stop caring about like the my past like like the money i kept in it or like the people what people were gonna think about me or any of the past work i did into my program it was kind of time for you to be like it was time for you to be like hey you know what like it's time to switch like well for my first program it was more like i'm gonna get my money back because of the ontario college calculated strike. risk <laughs> <laughs> calculated risk okay <laughs> Yeah, and then, like, for me, it was, like, the whole thing, like, you know, I like kids, but it's, like, do I really want to work towards this oh, as, like, what, an end what was your, what was your first? Child development. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I came to, like, the quick realization afterwards with hanging out with my nephew and niece is just, like, you know, I love you guys, but, like, do I want to be around these kids 24-7? Yeah, exactly. And I was just, like, you know, like, I know I have some something else that I want to do but like what is it like I can't fully grasp it like you know so then I was just like okay you know what I have to take the step because you know I'm not happy in it and like clearly I'm like bullshitting my work right now so I have to like dead the program so then dead the program yeah. so like it was you come in a slaughter yeah <laughs> it's okay. yeah so then I was sacrificed my I got lucky life for, for my program I got lucky for my first program and then for my second program it was just a certificate program at Centennial College for liberal arts and literally huh? I couldn't liberal arts remember Centennial no but that, that that was just what it was called like just liberal arts yeah it was a certificate and then you can move to like another you could have, program. oh yeah okay yeah okay, and I was just okay. like okay if I'm gonna do the certificate there's literally no point because like it's just a waste of that one year you know yeah. while like I have other programs that are offered to me like let me go into that and then with my third program 
it was teaching again and I was just like okay I really don't want to do teaching like that's not something like I fully see myself doing because again like you're around kids 24 7 like whether it's teenagers or whatever and like, I don't see myself working with teenagers at all so then I was just like okay next program what is it what is it and then I came that year it was a pretty tough year for me because um something happened within my family and then I was just like, you know what, like, the job field in Canada seems like something like such a unique thing. And like policies are something that I've always like looked at and stuff like that for my dad, especially like being a first generation Canadian, you're obviously doing all your parents work, right? Yeah. Wait, wait, what do you mean by job field? Like the working field, like, oh, like work like work just force yeah like work, the work yeah, yeah. yeah. The so force. i was just like you know that's something that i'm really interested in and like it came at such a good time because a there was one thing going on and then which led me to that path if i'm making sense so then i just took that opportunity do you guys get what i'm saying yeah. like well, i, I, I don't it. want to say in front of like the camera no. what it is but like no no can, no like, i get it so yeah. okay so basically a, a life event happened for her that kind of like geared well for her latest your yeah. latest tune into a program yeah a life event happened for her that kind of made her realize like why she should value certain things over others right yeah. so you chose that program because of it right yeah but i think more like okay so these are all factors that you took into account right but was there ever a moment that you kind of realized like I should stop caring about what, what people are going to think about me. Because it's kind of like build up a reasons of why you should and kind of geared you toward. But is there ever a moment that you feel like, oh, like, I should stop, like, caring? Have you ever felt that? What? Like a moment where you're like, fuck it, I'm not going to care about what other people think. Or I'm not going to care about what, what people, how people's opinions should affect my life. Honestly, yes. Especially, like, because straight out of high school, I was, like, very, like, influenced by like other people like what they would say like oh yeah you should do this you should do that whatever blah 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 like i always took that like you know how you said like yeah you take into consideration but doesn't mean you have to do it like that's how i think now but that's not how i always thought like for me it's just like oh my god like because i never knew what i wanted to do so when someone would give me but like, this doesn't like necessarily a, have to be about like school and career this could be like about anything honestly i don't think i honestly don't have like a specific moment to pinpoint that at yeah but yes yeah like i know it's, <laughs> yes i know i can't elaborate okay because like i genuinely don't remember but like but you've had a realization yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah, for sure <laughs> <Interesting. laughs> yes <sighs> okay it's kind of like what you said when you said like respect people but you don't have to respect, respect their, their opinion, opinion. Yeah. yeah yeah doesn't mean you're gonna like go off on them be yeah like, how dare you say this blah 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 it's like you take it and be like, okay, like, I considered it, but I, it's not for me, so, like, I'm not going to do it. Like, yeah. yeah, it's just not how I feel. Honestly, okay, f so for me, in my case, I have a kind of a moment, like, I know you said, like, you don't really have one, and you, yours is just, like, school thing. So mine is a kind of a moment when I have two brief moments, okay? Brief, kind of, not brief, but, like, two like, really, like, key, key moments in my head that I can kind of remember. So one was before.